Hi, this is James and in this video we will take a look at Shortcut and this is a Shortcut beginner tutorial to help you get started. So let's dive straight into it. So this is the uh, screen that you see in Shortcut. You will have a filters window over on the left here. And then here is actually where you can set your projects folder and your project settings things like video mode and your project name, okay, and recent projects. Now, if you are using Shortcut for the first time, this place here would be practically uh, empty. Now, I've been using Shortcut, so I have all these uh, recent projects done uh, there. Uh, here is actually the audio peak meters and as well as the recent files, okay. So, uh, if you don't see something like this, what you can do is go to your view, go to layout, and maybe just restore the default layout. Okay, now uh, one thing to note is that sometimes the default layout may change slightly depending on the developer of a uh, shortcut and he may feel that adding certain screens to the default may be better uh, or he may have made some changes to that. So uh, this is based on uh, shortcut version 19.08.16. Okay, so let's uh, uh, continue. So here is your projects folder. You can uh, give your project folder and basically you are just selecting the directory where you want to your uh, shortcut to save the files okay so let's say for example i'm saving it into this raw folder here so you go to here in my f drive documents training uh, shortcut raw okay you can also uh, name your project here as well so let's say why youtube tutorial number one okay and under the video mode is where you want to select your resolution whether you want to go for full hd half HD, uh, ultra high HD. You can also do some custom modes as well. Okay, for example, if you're editing video for Instagram, you can change it to say uh, taller than wide. Okay, so uh, if you don't change it, then of course the uh, video mode will be automatic. And when you import files into your shortcut or into shortcut, then you will actually set this from there. Okay, so these are recent projects. If I click on it, it will open up the recent projects okay and then here is the other recent files that uh, i've actually opened up in shortcut so if i want to close it, any of this layout i can actually just go to the end and close it and then the window or the panel will be closed if i want to open it up all i need to do is uh, click on the tab at the top here then the recent files uh, or the recent fold files that i open it will come up again so i'm just going to close it now one other thing i want to show you is that if you prefer uh, using a white screen for example a white background then you can actually change the team to say uh, a system team okay so you will have that bright background uh, or the light background so some people prefer to have the light background and some people prefer to have a dark background so you have that option of choosing choosing the settings over there Okay, now there will under the system team there will be some changes or slight changes to the icons, the shapes. And so uh, there's something to uh, take note of, but it basically is about the same. Okay, so I'm going to start by importing some media. Now with shortcut you don't really import media. You can actually open file and uh, shortcut will just uh, open up that file and start playing it into that preview window over here. Okay, so let me just pause that. And you have all these controls here to uh, fast forward, to play or go to the end, okay, that you can use. Alright, so this is your uh, window here. So you don't really need to use uh, the uh, timeline to edit, alright, so you can actually set the in and out points using, uh, by dragging this, okay. Now, like I mentioned, uh, shortcut, you don't need to import media into shortcut, but you can actually place media into a playlist. So I'm just going to open up a playlist here and then uh, click add and basically uh, this uh, trimmed off clip is actually added onto the playlist. Okay. Now if you want to open several files into shortcut, you can also do that. So let's say I'm just going to open these three files here. This one, this one, this one. Okay. There's three files. Click on open and all these three files will actually be placed onto the uh, playlist. Okay. So you can also uh, adjust the panel size here, all right? And that's with the layout of a shortcut. Now down here is actually the timeline and if you prefer or used to anything on the timeline, you can use that as well. But if not, you can also just uh, trim off videos here uh, at your source window, 
okay so let's play some video onto the timeline and see how it goes from there so let's put this down okay down i'm just going to uh, select this okay let's use this and i can actually drop this onto the timeline okay so here you can also see that this uh, video here has some waveform it has some audio as well there are several ways you can edit the video on the timeline you can just go to the back of the uh, clip here and drag it and that you are actually trimming that video off okay so it will uh, come to the new trim point there's another way you can edit which is actually to split the video so uh, by pressing this icon here you have actually split the video into two okay and then you can actually just drag the video uh, to the left or to the right okay with your mouse okay okay so let's drag another clip down here okay now uh, this clip here you can actually do transitions by sliding over here and then you have a transition between the first clip and the second clip okay so there are many other forms of transition but this is more like a cross dissolve or a cross fade all right so uh, i won't cover too much of that here okay but this is just a basic uh, tutorial now one thing to note is that there is this uh, toggle snapping okay so now at the moment toggle snapping is turned on so if i turn toggle snapping off all right so it will be harder to sort of adjust this video all right now with the toggle snapping turned on it means that the clip would actually sort of magnetize and go back uh, stick to the previous clip back to back okay so there won't be any gap okay so let me turn off the toggle again now even if you do not uh, have that or maybe you have left accidentally left some space there you can use this to zoom in and sort of right click and remove that gap over there as well so if you have not turned this uh, toggle snapping on that's okay you can actually do that as well with shortcut you can do multi-track editing so just right click and you can either add the audio track or add the video track so let's go ahead and add the video track so now you have a video track on the, uh, at the top so let's move this up okay so let's say you want to have this clip on top so now you have a clip here which is the deers and then of course here you have this uh, girl riding on an elephant okay so that's with uh, multi-track editing now you can also make changes to it for example create some fades create some transitions between uh, this uh, the first track and the second track okay so let's do that so to do a, a transition you can just go to filters and say uh, add okay select the track add a fade for example okay so once we do that let's play this okay so you can see the fade over there to add the audio track just right click and add an audio track so you have the audio track at the bottom here so you can add other audio for example if you want to uh, add a song add a voiceover you can do that okay you can also detach the audio from the video for example this audio and video is on the same track so let's do that and all you need to do is just detach the audio and you have an automatically a new audio track okay and you can also turn off the audio here okay from each track so it gives you final control when it comes to uh, editing with shortcut the next thing let's take a look at adding text to your video so let's uh, select this clip over here okay i'm just going to add a text into this uh, video here so all you need to do is actually to click on filters make sure the clip is selected click on add and go to text so there are a few texts that you can uh, choose from text simple text html and text 3d we're going to use the text simple so straight off over here you will notice that there is a uh, automatic time code that's uh, created okay so you can change the text here by saying there are two these are two two years all right and of course over at the bottom here you can uh, change it to say your font font size so when you want to change the fonts you have to make sure that your text is selected and then go to uh, whatever font you want to use let's say let's use 
uh, times Click on OK so now the font have changed and you can also adjust the size of the text by just dragging the window and then placing it this window wherever you want to uh, that text to go maybe somewhere here okay of course there are other things will be uh, whether you want to center the text here in, within that window or you want it to be at the bottom and you can also change the colors for example um, the font colors okay let's change it to say pinkish purple all right okay doesn't look so good let's go to for orange okay maybe you can see that better all right so this is the text over here and uh, let's change it back to white okay so you have the two deers and the text is there okay now the next thing that I wanted to show you is using keyframes okay for filters or effects that have keyframes you have this something like a clock so if you click on that then this uh, this text here would now have a keyframe created and basically keyframes allows you to create motion okay so instead of let's uh, let's go back to the uh, timeline so instead of the text just uh, showing up for a certain clip all right for for example so now you have a a clip with a text just comes up okay so what keyframes does is allows you to create motion for example you want to move uh, this you want the text to move on screen for example okay so let's say at the end here you want the, this text to move over to this side okay so let's play this now let's go back to the timeline okay Okay, so that's how you uh, create keyframes and there are several types of keyframes so here is actually uh, the keyframe is actually a linear type you can have smooth or you can have discrete as well okay and if you change it to smooth then uh, the button here will turn into a circle if you change it to say uh, discrete then it will be a, a square all right so let's go back to a smooth so that it will smooth the change will be smooth okay so not all filters or not e all effects will have keyframes uh, what you need to do is to just uh, click on the filter and see whether this thing is available so if that is available means that your keyframe is available within that effect okay so that's about using keyframes so let's go back to uh, finally exporting your file so in order to export your file, all you need to do is to click on uh, the export tab here. And you have a bunch of options that you can choose from. Okay, on the presets. Okay, so you have your stock, you can have YouTube. Okay, so when you click on uh, uh, YouTube, then you will have this uh, option over here. Now, basically, the option is to export from your timeline. You can export from the playlist yes you can also export from playlist as well so it doesn't mean that you just have to export from your timeline now this just means that in certain cases you can just put files into your playlist let's say you put in uh, say 20 images you can actually create a video from the 20 images uh, in within your playlist without having to arrange it on your timeline okay so anyway we're going to export from your timeline and when you click on advanced you notice that there are things you can choose okay of course here is from your timeline or from your source or from your playlist and then you have your format whether you want mp4 mp3 other types of formats matroska for example uh, here you get to choose your video resolution of course the aspect ratio as well the frames per second so you have all these options for you to choose from okay uh, the codec whether you want to use uh, libx 264 Libx 265 so you have various types of options as well as the quality that you want to uh, export to okay and of course the audio as well now once you're done you can actually just click on export and a shortcut will ask you okay what file to export to so I'm just say uh, let's put it as final cut and test mp4 click on start click on save and then a shortcut will ask you whether you want to export this so if you click on yes then the jobs panel will open up here on the on the on the right and then you will have uh, the percentage as shortcut exports that file okay 
So basically, that's about. So let me just pause this. So basically, this is a quick tutorial for using shortcut. There are other uh, options as well. There are lots of other tricks to make uh, things uh, easier, work better. So you can also just uh, check out the course. I have a course for the full shortcut and the link is below this video. So if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope that this video will help you to get started using shortcut.